Hi guys, I have decided to remake my uh, DCS video optimization guide for uh, DCS 256. This guide will be two parts. First part will be about NVIDIA control panel and second part will be the DCS settings. Uh, first of all, I am preparing this video assuming that your CPU can support your uh, GPU's performance, does not bottleneck your system. I have divided GPUs into five categories. Type zeros are the worst performance categories, like very old GTX uh, series, Radeon series. Type one are, are RX 470, 480 GTX uh, 1550 Ti. Uh, type two Vega series, Navi series, and GTX uh, 1070, 1080. Uh, type 3 are RX series, AMD's RX series and RTX uh, Intro series uh, up to RTX 2080. And uh, the best uh, group is RTX 2080 Super and RTX 2080 Ti for the day. Why we divided GPUs into five groups? Because some settings uh, will be done according to the groups. Different performances uh, will set different settings. Okay, let's start with the settings. Uh, first of all, you are opening the NVIDIA control panel and manage 3D settings and global settings. Uh, at the global settings, we are starting with image sharpening. Every setting has a description under. Uh, you should set the image sharpening on unless you have type 0 or type 1 cards. All the other types should set this to on for better uh, texture quality and set default. Okay, here is ambient occlusion, uh, which is a setting about shadows on textures. Uh, set it to performance uh, for your card for type 2, 3, and 4 cards, and set it to off if you have type 1 or type 0 cards. Anisotrophic filtering is about smoothing the textures and focusing on distant textures. Uh, it does not affect performance so much, so uh, we should uh, set it to on uh, and 16x, but we are leaving it as application controlled here. Anti-aliasing FXAA uh, should be on unless uh, you have very low FPS. Uh, with type 0 or type 1 cards. It's a post-processing technique that does not affect performance so much. Anti-aliasing gamma correction should be set to on uh, for better textures. Anti-aliasing mode should be application controlled. Uh, Anti-aliasing transparency should be off uh, as a default NVIDIA setting. CUDA GPUs should be set to all. DSR factors, since you have in-game anti-aliasing setting, uh, leave it off. Low latency mode should be on. Maximum frame rate should be off. Monitor technology should be set according to your monitor, G-Sync or uh, FreeSync uh, monitors. Uh, Multi-frame sampled AA, this is a post-processing technique, should be set to off because it it affects performance so much, up to 15-20%. Set to off, it does not affect uh, the quality so much. Uh, this is the OpenGL rendering G GPU selection. Uh, select your GPU. Power management mode should be optimal power, uh, not uh, the per maximum performance. Maximum performance setting is useless. Use optimal power. Preferred refresh rate for your monitor uh, is highest available. Shader cache should be on. Texture filtering and traffic sample optimization should be set to on for higher performance. Uh, texture filtering negative LOD bias uh, allow. Texture filtering quality. This has uh, four options. Quality, high quality, performance and high performance. If you have higher performance card quality 
or high higher high quality can be selected but if you have low performance cards like type 1 and type 0 you should definitely set this to uh, high performance because it affects your performance so much three linear optimization uh, should be set to on whatever your card is uh, Threaded optimization should be set to auto for new applications like this yes triple triple buffering uh, should be set to on if you are using vsync but uh, i'm not using vertical sync so it's set to off uh, vertical sync uh, uh, i have uh, set it to use the 3d application setting and i am uh, disabling it within the uh, dcs or whatever i uh, play or i use uh, virtual reality pre-rendered frames uh, you can increase this uh, if you increase it, uh, it can cause some stutters. Leave it uh, at one. Virtual reality variable rate super sampling. Uh, uh, if you think your card is uh, at high performance level for your uh, VR, uh, cause, for example, RTX uh, 2070 Super is a very good card, but uh, it cannot support very high resolution VRs. Uh, it differs from uh, using a monitor uh, if you think that there are some uh, uh, headroom for your card uh, set it to uh, adaptive uh, so it can uh, increase your image quality but uh, if you don't think there is no uh, uh, headroom for your performance uh, set it to off or always on Set, you can set it to always on but uh, you can see some uh, decrease your at your performance okay this is the end for nvidia control panel settings uh, let's go into the dcs settings now we are in the uh, dcs options uh, as of today for dcs 256 uh, let's have a look at the settings i am sending textures high uh, if you have a, a medium or low performance card you should set this to medium uh, terrain, tex terrain textures uh, should uh, should be set to low if you have uh, type 0 or type 1 uh, card uh, civilian traffic uh, affects your fps uh, i am setting it to low uh, it's not important for me your for maximum performance you can set to off uh, water uh, i am setting it to high uh, it does not affect so much, but uh, if you have uh, type 0 or type 1, you should set to uh, medium or low. Uh, look at your FPS and uh, decide. Visibility range is important for your FPS. It's uh, closely related to your video card's memory performance. Uh, it can be set to extreme, ultra, high, medium or low. I'm not seeing any difference, uh, noticeable difference between high and ultra. I am setting it to high. It does not affect my performance. My card is RTX 2080 Super, uh, but you should set it to medium or low if you have uh, type 0, 1 or uh, 2 type of cards, as we mentioned uh, previous in the video. Heat pillar is low for me. I don't like it so much. Shadows. Shadows affects your performance so much. So uh, uh, you should set it to off if your FPS is very bad or maximum at low it's important shadows is important resolution is your monitor's native resolution expect ratio monitors resolution of cockpit displays uh, it affects performance <coughs> but uh, there is no noticeable difference between uh, 512 or uh, 1024 uh, but i'm setting it as is if you see fps drop uh, for uh, high settings you can lower it to uh, 512 it's uh, quite good MSAA uh, this settings is uh, affecting the performance so much and it does not give uh, any noticeable result for me to my eyes so I'm setting it to off it affects up to uh, 20 25 percent for the performance if you have type 0 1 or 2 medium uh, level cards uh, set to off depth of field is important for the performance <clears throat> uh, I'm setting it to off. Lance effects uh, 
it's quite subjective issue I'm setting it to none you can set it to flare uh, it affects the performance sometimes and does not affect generally uh, whatever you like motion blur is off for me I don't I don't like the motion blur uh, super sampling anti-aliasing is uh, is an important setting uh, if you have a high performance card uh, for highest performance card group you can set it to uh, 1.5 multiplication but if you have lower performance card uh, set it to off it affects your performance so much uh, it can drop uh, up to 50 per uh, percent if you have a low performance card SSLR is uh, about uh, the water surface and my setting is on uh, but it affects the performance so much uh, I suggest you to leave it off uh, if you have medium or low performance card like Vega series uh, RX 450 series GTX series uh, you can set it to off and you can set it SSAA to off <coughs> clutter grass uh, these are uh, subjective settings trees visibility I don't uh, set it to 100% it affects the performance uh, trees visibility preload radius uh, these are uh, closely related to your video cards memory performance if you have higher highest end video cards uh, RTX 2080 Super Raw RTX 2080 Ti you can set these to the very high settings but they uh, affect your performance know it and uh, you can trade between performance and visual quality chimney smoke density uh, I didn't see any difference between 1 and 10 to my eyes so I'm setting it to 1 gamma is 1.9 for me anisotropic filtering we have mentioned it at Nvidia control settings before uh, you should set it to 16x if you have medium or high performance card uh, or set it to 8x or 4x for uh, the worst cards but it does not affect your performance so much uh, so start with 16x and lower it if you see performance drops at your FPS terrain ob object shadows uh, is default for me if your FPS is uh, below 30% leave it off cockpit global illumination I don't like it it's off uh, font scale it it does not affect performance uh, rain droplets uh, also affects your performance in uh, bad weather conditions uh, v-sync I'm not using v-sync uh, my monitor is g-sync if you have if you do not have a g-sync or free sync monitor uh, use v-sync <coughs> and uh, of course it's full screen uh, that's all folks uh, it's a trade between performance and quality try out the important settings most important settings are these post-processing settings they are affecting the performance so much and shadows these affects your set uh, performance so much uh, play with these and uh, see your results and uh, every computer is different every GPU is different uh, so uh, find your optimum performance see you guys bye